good morning. Uh, this is uh, an update from your town manager, me, Steve Eldridge. Uh, this is from the manager's desk. We thought it would be a good time to talk to the public and let you know uh, where we are on some items. As a lot has changed as in our town office life and um, surely it has in your private lives. Um, just to give you a quick update on the, uh, our voting, uh, unfortunately it's not going to be in June, which I'm, I'm probably most of you are aware. Um, the state has pushed it back to July 14th, so um, we're hoping by then things are have improved, but um, I really want to stress if you can get out and get absentee ballots out, um, that would be a really uh, good way to save you time uh, and standing in line, because that's probably what we're going to end up having, is people waiting hopefully six feet apart, or maybe we won't have to by then. But uh, I really uh, stress to get to the town office a call at 698-1101 and talk to Patty uh, Murray, the town clerk, or Lynn Shearer, the deputy clerk, either one of them, or any of our customer service people can help you. Um, so please take a look at that. Um, to look at services of, of what's going on, um, you, again, you can dial that number and, uh, or you can go to the website. We're trying to keep as much current on the website as we can um, when things change. Um, and even I sometimes have a hard time finding stuff that current, but it's there. Um, we've been meeting, uh, uh, the Board of Selectmen has been meeting regularly. Uh, we're back on schedule, but we're doing it through Zoom, which is uh, a new experience for all of us. Um, and it gets better each time we do it, I think. Um, and also the planning board is, is doing it through Zoom. Um, so if you have questions uh, during, when you see, if you get a chance to see the agenda, please uh, call James Bellissimo. Uh, he can uh, take your questions. Um, and get them to the planning board during the, during the process. So you, hopefully you'll hear your questions answered uh, when they're meeting. And with the Board of Selectmen uh, meetings, if you see the agenda or you have questions for them during the public comment, uh, give that to the town clerk, Patty Murray. She'll write them down and make sure they get asked during the meeting. Um, the meetings are pretty quick. We're trying not to load up. It's a good time of year for us because the budget is done and um, again, that's another uh, item that I'd like to mention. We, we did our budget before this whole coronavirus started, um, and we uh, put quite a bit into it that we were hoping to get done this year. Um, uh, but the Board of Selectmen and I, we talked um, off and on at our meeting about it. But uh, Tom Wright, our chairman, and I have almost a conversation every week about it, and we're going to kind of wait and see what happens at the polls. It's really difficult to change what's a Warren article at this point. Um, but if we have to hold off on doing projects and not spend money, which we will not do them, um, we will try to keep uh, our budget as low as we can um, and, and keep money in the bank. That's the goal. Um, update on road construction, if it passes at the ballot. Um, we have scheduled this year to do a shim and overlay just behind the uh, uh, Pine Hill construction job we did last year. Uh, Cemetery Road, we have it scheduled to be reclaimed, um, much to the chagrin of my chairman. He wanted to keep it all potholes and terrible so people would drive slow. And I put that off for three years. Uh, it's time we took care of that road. We did Worcester the year before. Um, so that will be done. Uh, we're doing a section of uh, Long Swamp Road, uh, one of the sections that's really bad. Um, and the same thing with River Road, there's one section there that we're doing. Uh, and if you drive Long Swamp and, and Little River Road, you will know which ones, because they're the worst. We'll be tearing up the pavement, uh, reclaiming it, as they call it, and uh, putting in material uh, to improve the base. And then we'll do a two-inch base layer, <clears throat> and we'll come back. Hopefully the year, the following year, or the year after, uh, and to put a shim and overlay on both of them, or one at a time, depending upon how much money uh, we have to spend. So, and we also will be doing Cranberry Meadow Road. It's a section there that is in really tough shape, um, and we're going to be uh, reclaiming that as well. So we have quite a few on our list. Logan Road will be one that will be finished 
Um, we also have a section on if we have enough money um, of the, just past the uh, long swamp road where we're reclaiming, it will go all the way to Alley Pond Road. We're hoping to shim that up a little bit and kind of keep that road intact if we can. It's really in difficult shape. It, the top layer is peeling off, and uh, we're going to try to save it if we can because underneath that it seems to be okay. Um, so that's it on road construction. Um, the state is going to be working on Hubbard Road this year. They're putting a brand new deck on that. It's scheduled for to start June 1st. There will be detour signs um, to try so you can skirt around. Um, so we'll be taking you out to uh, uh, Ridland Road and Long Swamp and those areas. But bear with us, it's only for 60 days, which seems like a long time, but it will go by quickly, maybe faster, since they're going to have the whole bridge shut down uh, and they'll be able to work on it. Uh, hopefully they get good weather. Uh, the fire station has uh, got all its walls up, the windows are in, um, and concrete's been poured in the office area and living quarters, and they're putting the radiant heat in the um, apparatus bay. So it's really coming together. It actually looks like a building. We're very excited. I would say that they're on schedule, uh, looks to me, and they're starting to do some work in the old uh, dorm gym, for which is going to be a sally port for the board or for the police department, uh, which has been long overdue, uh, having prisoners uh, chained to a bench. This will be a little bit safer for the police and, and for the people that they arrest. Um, we'll have our vehicles out of the weather in the wintertime, which will be good for the computers because we don't have to haul them in and out of the truck cars all the time. So that's on schedule. We're hoping it will be done by September or the end of September, maybe early October. And well, once that's completed, we will have um, probably an open house so everybody can come and see your tax dollars at work. Um, and we're all very excited about that. It's going to be a real nice public safety uh, center. Um, to give you an idea on our people's work schedules, our, our police and fire have been uh, have not changed their schedule. They're still working the same hours. Uh, they're public safety. They need to be available through all this covert, and they've done an excellent job in keeping themselves safe and being careful. Um, and there, there are uh, covert 19 cases out there throughout the whole state, York County. In Cumberland County are the two highest amounts in the uh, state of Maine, but uh, hopefully we'll see that decline eventually. But they've done a good job. Public Works was working a separate uh, shifts back and forth, trying to keep each other away uh, from each other, traveling in separate vehicles. They're still traveling in separate vehicles, but last week they started back on a 40-hour a week schedule uh, for 10-hour days, and, uh, and they're get, trying to prep the roads and get things done for the paving. The town office. <clears throat> town office uh, has been closed for quite a while, and I know it's very inconvenient for the public, um, but it keeps you safe and it keeps us safe. Uh, we have had a skeleton crew uh, in the town clerk's office, um, and they'll be coming in a little bit, uh, probably with all the full-time people to get ready for the election. A lot of prep work is required for that. Finance director, myself, and the deputy finance director are in the office most of the time. Um, but again, we keep our distances. I'm on the second floor, they're on the third floor. So we're, we're able to keep away from each other. And, uh, and I have my chairs in my office set 10 feet back, not six. So to keep everybody safe. Um, and we're hoping, uh, Governor Mills announced uh, on Wednesday that they would be doing, I guess it was Tuesday, that uh, June 1st would be the time that we thought we could possibly open up our businesses like the town office. Uh, we're going to aim for that date, but it, we, it is going to be a wait and see. I'm not convinced, and I don't think the, the professionals are, that we are seeing a decline in that. I know the numbers in Maine have continued to go up. Uh, fewer deaths lately, which is a good thing. So uh, that's... Um, that's what we're doing. We're doing well. It's kind of frustrating to uh, not see the public and have an inconvenience. But if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call.
Patty or the girls downstairs or call my office. I, I'm there and I will get back to you. Um, one of the things I mentioned uh, at the meeting on Sluckman's meeting on Tuesday night is census. If you have not done your census uh, uh, paperwork online or paper documents, please do that because that impacts us impacts the whole state in terms of what we might be have available for federal funding. Uh, so it's, it's real important. Uh, there's nothing confidential about it. It's, it's just your name, where you live, um, and how many people might live in the household. But please, uh, we're lagging behind uh, the rest of the country in getting this done, um, and it's important that we do that. Um, Otherwise, there's a lot going on across the street. Little do we know, we don't see a lot of activity um, at Prime, but uh, the uh, civil engineers are, have been there quite a few times and uh, doing what they do, uh, measuring and planning. Um, and uh, there's a podcast that uh, James Bellissimo did uh, recently um, with uh, Julie Smith and um, John and Cindy Smith all through Zoom, I think, um, and uh, also a, um, a group, one is a downtown manager or for uh, out in Michigan, I think it was, and also a gentleman who started the whole thing, I think they both did, the talks about downtown revitalization, and we also had the chamber uh, uh, director there from Summersworth. So it was a, I got to see it yesterday, and it was very... Well done, uh, a lot of questions are asked, but we had over 2,000 hits I heard today, which is quite a few. I'm not real tech savvy, so a podcast was something completely new. I think that's the first one I've ever seen. So, but it was interesting to listen to them both, or all four of them. So um, uh, that's it for me. Um, I don't think there's much else, but if you, again, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Um, I try to be religious about getting my people answering uh, phone calls back and getting back to you. Um, otherwise, most of the information that you're looking for is either on BCTV or it's on uh, our, our webpage. Uh, you'll find it there. And one more thing that I saw yesterday, which I thought was really neat, I'll mention it, is uh, we had a drone flyover of, of the uh, fire station and police station. And that was pretty neat to see. You can really see the progress it made and really see what's going on. So if you get a chance, take a look at that. Those are, those are fun. Uh, and thank you all very much, and, and please be safe. That's important.